sought a way to destroy the anvil. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! You! Please! Help me destroy the anvil! Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has! <laughs> uh, I'll help you if you support a new king. Uh, why should I let your guilt inconvenience me? Your own people were slaves once, were they not? Would you force the very souls of others into slavery for eternity? What do you think my whole plan is here? Why are you listening? We had an agreement. I'm the one you came here to find, not him. Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory! You're right, it's too powerful not to keep. The dwarf woman has madness for her excuse. What's yours? Also madness. Let us be done with this. Uh, doesn't the coon force others in the service? <laughs> uh, God. No, I'm, I'm gonna stick with being evil here. The anvil is needed. That is my order. Shut the fuck up. Stand. I cannot allow you to do this, stranger. To me, golems! Defend the anvil, whatever the cost! Alright, we're up against him. I figured, I figured. Please don't throw rocks at me all at once. How... Okay, well, I got, like, two on my side. Uh, maybe this is going to be one of those fights where I just have to kill him and then that's it. Ogren is happy that I did what I did, but uh, nobody disapproves. Seriously? Okay, sure, I'll take it. Why not? You know, there's nobody disapproves. Apparently, I made the right choice here. I don't know why Ogren would approve, but it says that he did. And let's see, can I put him to sleep? I did hit Keridan with Keridan with that? Yeah, Keridan. And two-handed sweep. And two-handed sweep. I see. Yeah, they resist it. They've got a high fucking physical thing. Alright, heal Ogren. He's probably gonna die during this. Uh, shattering shot. Mighty blow. Powerful swing. They do give you a lot of lyrics for this, though. So hopefully I can use that to the best of my abilities. But we are doing pretty damn good here. Group heal. And we'll go for a critical shot. Pummel strike. And pummel strike. Is he running? Lightning burst. Yep. That didn't do that much. That was a lot of an animation for not that great of anything. Is he still alive? Kill him! Group heal! Damn, that was a long ass attack and I finished all of them off. <laughs> so I'm not exa I didn't catch all of what happened there. I just know that because he cast lightning, I win. I, I don't even need the Lyrian veins or potions or anything. Alright, Keridan, what you got on ya? Keridan shield! Still crap. Like, it's not not necessarily that bad, but it's still pretty damn bad. You don't want anything off of him. How? What the hell? He had stuff, but not Go my on. kind of stuff. And amethyst and a heavy plate armor. That is no good. Wait, how much strength does it have? Require 38. Yeah, no good. <laughs> What's up, Bronca? How you doing? Here it is. The Anvil of the Void. So sweet. Such power. You found the Anvil. Are you happy now? Maybe we could go back to Orzammar, share the good news. Look at it. It was worth it. All of it. The Anvil is everything I thought it would be. I... I should have known. 
I thought that once you had the anvil, you'd be satisfied. Can I get one of those gloves I could use it that now. makes the circle? A reward for defeating Carradin. You wanted a crown, no? Or have you set your sights higher than the petty kings of Orzammar? As long as we're going full metal alchemist, I want one of those glove things. Can I have the fake arm, too? That'd be awesome. Uh... <laughs> make me a golem, I volunteer Ogren's soul. Believe me, I appreciate the thought. But it will take me a while to master all the techniques without Caradin's example. Why don't we go with the crown for now? So I'm gonna be the king of Orzammar. Sounds good. I wanted to be king from the get-go anyway. The ominous music tells me that I have done well. What are we getting out of this? Come on, give me something! The crown. It's a nice ass crown. It's probably heavy as Carrots. shit. An ugly lump of hot metal to go over a couple of empty heads. Now leave. It will take me some time to fully realize the mysteries here. Just remember to keep your end of the bargain. Once Orzammar settles on its petty king, have him send for me. When next you lead your armies against the Archdemon, they will be shielded by a tide of steel men. Sounds sweet. This makes you happy, Branca. I don't think you understand what it costs to get you here. As the enemy oh, fades away. Oh, stop a rag in it, Ogren. Move on. Find a few whores. Sodding stone, I never thought you'd be the pining type. Now be gone. I know where there are some whores, man. They do a fake moan and everything. Hooray, pragmatist! And Ogren disapproves. I don't give a shit. W skill acquired. What, what skill did he acquire? Is there like a he hates me thing? Uh, items received. I got uh, something that it doesn't show here. Is it like key items or some shit? Plot items. Felt spar. Where'd it go? There we go. Paragon Forge Crown. So, we done here? Can I finally get fucking rid of Ogren for good? What's on? Can I do something with the, uh, the, s the anvil myself? Oh, almost missed a chest All here. Right. And I'm overloaded already. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, can't pick that up. Great. Alright, so... Let me, I, I believe we are done here with, uh, with Ogren. So let me unequip him, give Alistair everything that I want from, well, I'll have Alistair in my party and Ogren will probably be naked from now on. And I'll be right back. Well, unfortunately, they won't let me change party members around here, so Ogren still has all his stuff. And I'm full on inventory still. I uh, couldn't get rid of that much. Let's see what the Anvil of the Void gets us. The anvil glows like liquid metal from the lyrium veined through it, but dark stains attest to its bloody past. It is built straight out of the stone of the floor. Trying to move it would require years to chip away at its base. And that's it? Seriously? I don't even get like a codex entry for that? Fine. We're done. Uh, we're... Oh, she's like hanging out at the bottom. Bronca's still there, of course she is. Is there anything else here before? How am I gonna get out of here? What the hell? Is that floating? It is. Fu We're fucking floating. All of us. What the hell's going on here? Uh, this place confuses me. Uh, oh, stuff out of the golems. Oh. Yeah, we already looked at that. Is that what happens when, like, golems go away? Something without, like, a body disappears? They just leave a bag behind? So how the fuck do I get out of here? Like, seriously. There's no way to the left. You lie to me, map. Oh, golem registry! You see a large stone tablet chipped with age with a great number of dwarven runes carved into its surface. 
Examine it more closely. The writing is in Dwarven and appears to be a long list of names, each with a stamp of their house next to them. You recognize a few of the house names. At the bottom of the list are the words, We honor those who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. The carvings are still deep enough that a tracing could be taken, allowing the information to be carried elsewhere. Fine, take a tracing. The ancient runes are traced into a stack of papers, which you store in your pack. Uh, crap, a new quest. <laughs> uh, find someone who'd be interested in the Golem Registry. Don't the, the people at, like, the... The, uh, what do you call it? Not the library. Whatever their library was called. That should be where they want it. That should be pretty damn easy for me to take care of. So, well, okay. Guess you both got what you wanted. Hope it was worth the cost. Pretty much. We should get back to the city now. Share the news. Let's do it. Let's go while this new king can still be of use to me. Yeah, those dishers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Of course not. So now we get to go straight to Orzammar, which is always appreciated when I don't have to... Oh god, it's going to take forever to get there. Why is that necessary? Why? <laughs> it's not like... Uh, we're not going to get into battles along the way here. It's not like this is a loading screen either. Th you know, they have a separate loading screen when I make it there. I don't I don't see the point of this in in the game to be honest with you. Oh, there is a there is no loading screen. So it was necessary. I call for order. This argument gets us nowhere. I am your king and now. Why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now. My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? I would. Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Steward, but the Grey Warden has returned. We should let the Warden speak. What news do you bring? Uh, a Paragon Bron- No, I bear a crown from Paragon Bronca for her chosen king. Bronca still lives, though she's mad as a nug at a tanner shop. <laughs> she finally found the Anvil of the Void and chose to stay in the deep to work it. She tasked this Grey Warden to give her crown to Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors as a first in a millennium to lead a Gollum army against a blight. Damn straight. And we are supposed to trust this? The word of a drunken sot and a Grey Warden known to be in Harrowmont's pocket? Silence! Hey. Then tell us, Grey Warden, which king did Paragon Bronca endorse? Whoever I choose. The Grey Warden knows nothing about us. Why would a Paragon entrust someone like this with such a weighty decision? This is ridiculous! We've argued in these chambers for too long. The will of the Paragon is that the Grey Warden decide. Oh, they're not giving me many choices here. I don't really give a shit. Haramont, because he was nicer to me a little bit, and Balin just kind of, like, rad... I don't know. He made fun of me a little bit. Damn it, Haramont, then. I appreciate your forthrightness, Warden. You have acted with grace through this entire torturous process. So that's it? Harrowmont actually gets chosen because I picked him just like that? There's no like more debating or anything? Fine, I'll take it. Why not? Hurry up though. I was supposed to be king, damn it. I can't even hear that. Find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Orzammar. That is a stupid crown. <laughs> I will not abide by this. The ancestors have spoken. Stand down, Balin. You've lost. Would you let a surfacer decide the fate of the dwarves? They just did. Out. They brought weapons. Guards. 
Alright, now we get to take on... Where is he? Dashir, 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 Royal Guard, Royal Guard, Dashir. Where's Balin in this? Fine, whatever. Um, That one. I should put the majority of them to bed. There he is! Balin's right in the middle! I didn't see him before! Alright, go for that. Damn, there are a lot of them compared to the people on Harrowmont's side. Uh, choose wrong, or is it, is it always going to be like that kind of odds against me? Damn it, Ogren, why do you still suck? I would have had you removed by now if I could have. I tried. Can I loot their bodies when I'm done with this, too? That'd be appreciated. Can't put him to sleep again? No? Alright, we'll then do that. Confuse who are left. Are you guys, you guys aren't gonna help me fight anymore? Alright, loot while I can. What do you have on? Prince Balin! Ah, almost three gold! No, I'm not talking to you guys until I finish looting. Looting is more important than your local politics. And down goes this guy. Whoever that was. He, he went down, though. And I'm overloaded again. 101. Hooray. Alright. I admit I did not think even Balin would defy the word of a paragon. Nor that so many would follow him. So David Tetch is the right of guy? Orzammar has seen him for what he really is. And I trust we will bring this insurgency under control. As long as it doesn't interfere with me getting my troops. More than for my crown, I thank you for aiding Branca's recovery of our greatest treasure. With the anvil in our hands, I need risk no dwarven lives to counter this blight. Not exactly I how that anvil works. Branca whatever she needs to forge a golem army. People. When you face the archdemon, Warden, it will be with stone giants at your back. Not mere men. Sounds like a plan. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get to the palace and set our plans in motion. Don't I get a statue or something in my honor? I'll talk to a sculptor, see what we can do. Make it big. This is the staff I carried as King Andrin's second. Take it as a reminder of your place in Orzammar. Overloaded even I more. wish you luck against the Blight Warden. May we foster another four centuries of peace. And I have gotten another achievement for yes. picking him. Uh, I assume that would that yeah. I have to go. I have to play it again in order to get the other achievement. But sure, level ups. Very nice. We'll go for that. And what can we get here? Nothing's really that great here. We'll go for the master archer. So that he has maxed his archery. He is damn right an archery master. He's Charles motherfucking Mahariel. Uh, one there, one there. One in cunning. Why not? What do we got here? Disengage? No. Anything else for two-handed? He needs 40 strength, damn it. Okay, so let's take one away in cunning and put it in strength. There we go. Now we can do Destroyer. It's passive, so... Every attack sunders the target's armor, re reducing its effectiveness for a short time. The effect of multiple blows are not cumulative. Oh well. Still good. Still very, very good. And I think we are done here. Have I, have I completed the quest? I've completed some of the quests. Uh, the Blight. Gather the army. Le okay, return to Earl Eamon. Um, and then, yeah, it looks like I am done here! We have completed Orzammar after way too damn long. And this is not the way out. Which way is the way out? I want out. I don't care for your politics. There we go. Out to the Diamond Quarter. And that looks like that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I've been Bala Scuba! Are we gonna load? There we Ray go. Warden, you have impressed the best of us. You should have been impressed by the time I showed up. 
I've been joined as always by Charles Mahariel, Morgan, a guy you'll probably never see again, and Sten. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.